up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support. We got another Gear Thursday video, and I get a lot of questions about guitar picks, plectrums, picks, you know? These things that we use right here. Um, the first thing I would say if you're a beginner, I would, I would really uh, encourage you to use a pick. I get asked a lot about uh, beginners that are more used to strumming with their fingers, or it's easy to, easier to do that. And it might be easier in the beginning, but I really think you should work on a pick. Um, there's so many benefits to it, and I just think you should do it. Now, if you are a beginner, you really want to start with a nice, light pick. So if you look at this pick right here, actually, point it like that. If I held it this way, it'd be called a light pick, and it's got a lot of give to it. Um, this particular pick is actually a Justin uh, Sanderco pick. Look at that. So nice and flimsy. So there's a lot of forgiveness when you strum. You know, and when you are starting starting to play guitar, you want to kind of start with those easy strummer chords first. And a super light pick is going to help get you going. I think the first six months of me playing, I used an extra light pick. It felt really good. You know, like because I felt like. Uh, I was strumming away. And then as I started to get into single notes, I moved up to a medium pick and I used like a tortoise shell, like Fender medium pick uh, for years, uh, first, you know, maybe five years of me playing guitar. Here's uh, an example of like such a tortoise shell pick. This one I'd say is probably a heavy or somewhere in between a medium and a heavy. And you can see it says Quist on it. Brian Ferry Tour 2017. That's that's uh, our good friend Quist. This isn't a super light pick. He's a shredding, amazing guitar player. He obviously uh, got used to this, which I would say, like I said, it's a medium or a or a heavy medium. So as you get more into playing guitar and you get a little, little more experienced, start experimenting with thicker picks until you get one that you're used to. So like I said, I used a medium for a very long time. At some point, I graduated up to one of these, which I used for a very long time. This is the uh, uh, Dunlop Tortex pick. This is a heavy, not the heaviest pick ever, but it's a 1.14 millimeter thick pick. And so there's already not as much give as this light pick. Lots of flex on the light pick. By the time I moved up to the heavy, the 1.14, not as much give, all right? The other thing about these is they come with, uh, when you pull them out of the pack, they're almost, it's almost like a little powder that comes on the pick, and it makes it so it doesn't slip out of your fingers when you're, if your fingers get real sweaty. It just kind of helps you uh, grip the pick a bit. So I used this pick for many, many years, even uh, into, well into my YouTube video making life. And then I was playing a lot with my buddy Bob Ryan, who's someone I admire a lot and his guitar playing skills. And he was using these. And they're the same thickness, so that was nice. Not a big uh, change for me, 1.14. Also, it has that grippy kind of powder residue so they don't slip as much which i like and so these are the gators which if you look at the ones i used to use they're the same thickness but the tortex is just a little bit bigger the gator which i use now and i've used for probably at least the last five or six years it's just a little bit sharper point at the end and just a little bit smaller there's something about it that I just kind of started to graduate towards. So these picks right here are what I've used, you know, for a good five or six years now. And I'm just used to it. You know, a big part of it is just what you get used to. Let me show you a few other picks while we're here talking about picks. Uh, the weirdest guitar pick that I've ever seen is this one right here. And if you look at it, yes, it is a seashell. And it's uh, exclusively what Ed King uses, who I did a Guitar Tours episode with, who, um, he signed it for me. Uh, he plays in Leonard Skinner, Strawberry Alarm Clock, and he goes to some beach, I want to say it's Florida, I can't remember, 
precisely. I think it's some particular beach somewhere that he goes and he picks out these seashells that are shaped like picks and he uses them as a guitar pick. He loves the way, you know, it does give it a really cool sound. There was a rumor that Billy Gibbons used to use a Mexican peso at, at one point for a pick. So there are these weird little idiosyncrasies that these artists have out there. And Ed King uses a really thick seashell. Going to break a lot of strings with this pick. But it is really cool. Let's see. I'm not used to it, but... I don't know. But it works for Ed, and Ed is awesome. Great dude. All right, so there's that. And then I have a few, uh, oh, yeah, the Super Shredders, like Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa, um, and then even, like, the neoclassical guys. Uh, I don't know exactly what pick, like, Michelangelo uses and, you know, uh, Pet uh, Petrucci and all these different guys. But most of the Shredders evolve into an even sharper, pointier pick. And a lot of times you call them jazz picks, like the jazz two pick, I think is this elusive red version of, of this one that Joe Bonamassa uses. I believe, you know, he may have, he's might've changed it up. But anyway, you got these tiny little, very sharp picks that super shredding fast players use. And yes, I've tried to use them. It didn't make me faster, but, uh, but you know, it's also a personal preference. But, I, but we do have this trend, or at least it seems that most shredders, you know, guys that play super fast, uh, you know, these virtuoso kind of style players tend to use these uh, tiny little sharp ninja star picks. What else do I have? Oh, I have a Alice in Chains pick. Which is pretty cool. It's really their pick. I have a whole collection somewhere. I played with uh, Slightly Stupid over the summer. Here's the Slightly Stupid pick. It says uh, Slightly Stupid right there. Sounds of Summer 2017. So that was their tour. They, I, uh, this is the same size as uh, the Tortex. In fact, it's the same pick as the Tortex. This one, I think, is even thicker. So the slightly stupid guys, they like thick picks. Yes, yes, they do. And then finally, that brings me to a pick that's one of a kind. And you might need to put sunglasses on so it doesn't blind you from its magical aura. Is that? And yeah, obviously, that's a novelty pick, the pick of destiny. But man, sure is fun to have one. Yes. All right, that was fun, different. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for the support again. Uh, just to recap, if you're a beginner, yes, use a pick. I really encourage you not to avoid the pick. It's gonna help you a lot. Uh, use a nice flimsy light pick if you're a super beginner and then move up uh, into th a thicker pick as you start to play single notes and, and see what is comfortable for you. And um, And obviously, if you end up being a super shredder, you may Use one of those tiny little jazz picks. And somehow I've ended up using these, which I, I don't foresee changing now at this point in time. So anyway, that's that. Thanks again. Uh, leave uh, your requests for other gear you'd like to see or questions that you have, because uh, I like to, uh, you know, give you guys what you want. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Uh -huh.